Hi there, welcome to the Learning Fun Zone. We're your one-stop destination for fun, engaging, and educational content. Today, we're going to dive into the exciting world of computer networks, the internet, and the magical journey of data as it zips across the globe. From your favorite online games to video calls with friends, we'll unravel the hidden mysteries behind these everyday wonders. So, are you ready for an exciting journey through the world of computer networks? Buckle up. So, you might be wondering, what exactly are computer networks? Well, let's imagine you and your friends. You all share stories, jokes, and sometimes even secrets, right? That's sort of what a computer network does. In a computer network, computers are like friends. They chat with each other by sending and receiving information. This information could be anything. A funny cat video, an email, your favorite song, or even the latest game that everyone's talking about. Just like you use your voice to talk to your friends, computers use cables or wireless signals to communicate. Some computers might be close by, like you and your best friend sitting next to each other in class. Others might be far away, like a pen pal from another country. But no matter the distance, they can still share their information, thanks to the network. So just like you and your friends form a network, computers too can form their own network. Now, imagine a network so big it connects computers from all over the world, that's the internet. The internet is like a colossal spider web, linking computers together globally. It's not just a single network, but a network of networks. Just like roads connecting different cities, the internet connects different networks, allowing them to communicate with each other. But what does this giant network let us do? Well, many things. When you watch a funny cat video or play your favorite online game, you're using the internet. It's like a mega library, filled with all sorts of information and entertainment. It's also a virtual classroom where we can learn new things, do schoolwork, and even meet new friends from different parts of the world. The internet is like a bustling city that never sleeps. It's always busy, with information traveling at lightning speed. Just think about it. When you send an email or a message to a friend, it doesn't take days or even hours to reach them. It's almost instant, even if they're on the other side of the globe, isn't it fascinating how this massive network operates? It's like a symphony of data, all working together to bring the world to our fingertips. And the most remarkable part, this giant network is invisible. We can't see it, but we can feel its presence every time we connect our devices to the internet. Isn't it amazing how the internet connects us all no matter where we are? But how does information or data travel from one computer to another? Let's find out. You can think of data traveling a bit like passing notes in class. Imagine you want to send a note to your friend sitting on the other side of the room. You write your note, fold it up, and then pass it from person to person until it reaches your friend. In this scenario, the note is like the data, and the people passing the note are like the network. In the world of computers, however, the notes are called data packets. These packets are chunks of information, just like your note, but they're made up of bits and bytes which are the language computers use to communicate. When you want to send a message or watch a video, your computer breaks that information down into these packets. Now how do these data packets make their way across the network? They don't get passed from person to person like a note, but they do travel through a series of devices including routers and switches. These devices, you can think of them as the post office in our note passing story, help guide the data packets to their destination. Just like a letter in the mail, data packets have addresses on them. These addresses are called IP addresses. The IP address tells the network where to deliver the packet, just like a postal address on a letter. And just as the post office uses the address to route your letter to the right city, then the right neighborhood, and finally the right house, the network uses the IP address to route the data packet to the right computer. Sometimes the packets might take different paths to reach the same destination. This is because networks always look for the most efficient route, which can change depending on network traffic, just like how you might take a different route to school if there's a traffic jam. So, every time you send a message or watch a video, data is traveling through the network to reach you. Well, we've learned a lot today, haven't we? We've delved into the fascinating world of computer networks, the internet, and how data zips around the globe. It's been quite a journey, so let's take a moment to recap the main points. We started off by exploring what computer networks are. Remember, they are just like a team of computers working together. They are interconnected, allowing them to share information and resources. Just like how you play with your friends in a team, each computer in the network has a role to play. Then we moved on to the internet, which is a giant network of these computer networks. 
It's like a massive global team of computers all around the world working together to share information. It's thanks to this team that you can chat with your friends, play online games, and even watch this learning fun zone video. And finally, we looked at how data travels. We learned that data is broken down into tiny packets like letters in a mail. These packets are then sent off to their destination, hopping from one computer to another, just like a game of pass the parcel. And when they reach their destination, they are put back together, delivering the message or information they were carrying. Isn't it amazing to think about all this happening in the blink of an eye? Every time you click a link or send a message, it's like a whole other world inside our computers and devices. And there's so much more to discover, so I hope you're as excited as I am to keep exploring. And now, for a little computer network joke. Why don't networks ever hide at Hide and Seek? Because they always leave a trace route. I hope that brought a smile to your face, just as our journey through computer networks did. Don't forget to subscribe to the Learning Fun Zone for more fun learning.